At the Royal Children's Hospital, we're used to hearing stories of persistence and courage and selfless devotion. Sadly, we're also accustomed to stories that don't end happily. In the years since the last Good Friday appeal, however, we faced the loss of a member of our family with both sadness and joy. Sadness at the loss of a staunch and faithful friend. Joy at a life lived well, a life spent in the service of others. Dame Elizabeth Murdoch was everyone's favorite grandma. She may have been the matriarch of a great and powerful family. She may have had a huge fortune at her disposal. But in the minds and hearts of many Victorians, she was the epitome of kindness, generosity, human warmth, and good old-fashioned common sense. When she died last December, two months short of her 103rd birthday, Dame Elizabeth was, without doubt, one of Australia's most loved and respected elders. Her philanthropic work wasn't just a diversion of her later years, it was a lifelong passion resulting in her being created a Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire, the female equivalent of a knighthood as far back as 1963. She joined the Committee of Management of the Royal Children's Hospital from 1933 when she was just 24 and never lost her devotion. A full list of many of her causes would fill a small book. Suffice to say, she was unstoppable. Dame Elizabeth was blessed with an inquiring mind and a rapier wit, and she recognized what so many of us fail to realize or choose to ignore. To use her words, looking out for people is the most important thing in life and the most rewarding. That's why she maintained such a lively interest in everything the world had to offer, especially the young. And that's why the Royal Children's Hospital and the Good Friday Appeal mattered so much to her. She and the people of the Good Friday Appeal were kindred spirits, devoting their time and energy to looking out for the people who most needed their care and support. Thank you, Dame Elizabeth. Rest assured, we'll keep looking out for other people, but we'll never forget you.